Whipple Super Chargers was started in uh, 1987 by my father, Art Whipple, a former drag racer, and uh, he wanted to get back into racing, but instead of actually owning a team or crew chiefing like he had before, he wanted to actually build a part. And from there, he started with the uh, Twins Crew Supercharger, which at the time, nobody knew what that was. We had no manufacturing capacity at the time, and we didn't really know a lot about superchargers other than what they did. So we found a supercharger in Australia called the Sprintex Supercharger. And so in the late 80s, my dad said, I want to build a race supercharger. They're like, okay, but uh, to build a bigger supercharger, we need to prove out the small supercharger first. With that, we actually became the North American distributor from that point on for the Sprintex Supercharger. It wasn't really until we started building our own superchargers that the business really started to skyrocket. We invested a lot into here in California, in the US, being able to build our own stuff, test our own stuff, design our own things. Here's where we manufacture the shafts at our vertical lathe. Induction hardener, this is our CMM 3D printer, a machine shop. These are all 5-axis machines. So here at we actually make a screw type supercharger. Uh, basically, it is a, another way to create forced induction into an engine by the way of using two different screws, a male and female rotor turned by the belt drive system. That air is then induced into the motor and uh, creates boost, which makes more horsepower. It just makes it feel like you have a bigger engine, different gear ratio. You, you just have a, a sense of acceleration just whenever you want it. We, we kind of enable people to customize their car in a way that not only looks awesome, but adds a level of performance and thrill that you really can't get anywhere else. I always tell people I have a 800 horsepower F-150. I absolutely do not need that, but I own my own roller coaster. We're doing everything we can to try to make the best product possible. And we need the powerful software that allows us to be able to data log a lot more than just normal SAE PIDs. Recently, we switched some of our Ford products over to HP tuners, and that's allowed us to really simplify the process. If you put a supercharger kit on a car and change the fuel injectors and other hardware and you go to start it, it probably won't even start, won't run, the computer won't know how to handle the, uh, the added air, the added fuel from the larger fuel injectors, and the different components of hardware that we change. So we have to be able to go into that software and recalibrate it to work with the new hardware that we're putting under the hood. We do rely on HP tuners and, and the packages that they provide to us to be able to calibrate these. So a lot of our kits are going out the door with an included HP tuners device. The HP tuners software is really good for R&D. It saves us a lot of time. A lot of people are familiar with the software. It just continues to get better and better. This is a 2023 Denali that we're using for emission testing and with the Global B uh, service, we're able to now uh, do all our pre-testing and we'll go to the SEMA lab to do all our final testing. HP Tuners has now released the Global B support, which has really helped us go to a new direction of new product. Uh, we have the new Blackwing coming, the Escalade V, uh, obviously the, the Chevy truck, the GMC truck Escalade. Uh, all those uh, platforms have really helped open a door that we were uh, not able to do before. We knew we had hardware that can fit the application, but it's difficult for us to just keep continuing to commit resources to a project where we're uncertain about if we can recalibrate the car's computer or the truck's computer. Now that I'm confident we're gonna have access to in the future, we're preparing ourselves for you know what is said to be impossible right now, so we're gonna work together to redefine impossible. I remember using HP tuners in the very uh, early days and uh, you know uh, just trying to learn, because same thing, wanted to modify my vehicle at the time and uh, I you know I learned by somewhat of a trial and error so to speak I was like wow this is actually amazing it's crazy that I learned with using that software and those tools and now we send thousands out a month it'd be great to see other people learning from the same method that I did